Namaste. Namaste. Welcome to day 17. Take a deep breath. Letting go. And another deep breath. Pashupataye Namaha. Pashupati is the Lord of the animals. I feel it's really time to honor the animals and share the blessings that we've been receiving in our meditation practice and in our journey into our inner world with the animals. And one way is obviously to chant for them, to connect with the spirit of the animals through this mantra. Also, the animals that live with us, our pets, is a beautiful mantra to connect with our pets on a deeper level. And don't think your pets don't recognize the goodness of the mantras. We've had many friends writing to us and telling us how their pets respond to these mantras and the music. Don't underestimate your pets. I'm sure you don't. If you give them the chance to experience the mantras, who knows, you may find the same kind of results as other people who have written to us. And don't underestimate the mantras. Don't underestimate <laughs> the mantras. <laughs> you know, we feel there's often so much pain in the animal kingdom, which we don't, as humans, recognize. So much suffering that cannot be obviously expressed because the animals don't, express so much in their facial expressions. Of course, some animals do, dogs, of course, we know. But let's chant this mantra in a way of sending out our love and gratitude to animals for being here, also as a healing mantra for all the animals. We have no idea what they're going through, especially the farmed animals, as our human world increases and spreads over the planet there is less and less room of course for the, the animals to live in the freedom that they once did and there's no solution to this other than to be aware of it and to give thanks to the animals becoming more conscious of the way they live what we can do to help them and assist them as our friend sharon gannon says cats are people too there are many ways, obviously, that we can change certain things that will benefit the animals. One of them is to be vegetarian or vegan. If it's not possible for you or if you choose not to, then maybe to have one or two days a week where you don't eat meat or fish. This would make such a difference. There are so many statistics of how meat eating has a huge impact on the resources of the planet. So much more than if we had a plant-based diet. This would be a huge, huge step. Give yourself the opportunity to at least explore the possibility to eat less flesh and more vegetables. Keep the animals safe and let them be free. So the words are Om Pashu Pataye Namaha. Om Pashu Pataye Namaha. Let's close our eyes. Just tune into the animal kingdom, the feeling of animal spirit. Thank you. 
Super. 
Take a deep breath. As a suggestion, when we go about our day today, let's see if we can tune into the animals we meet. Maybe there are some that we don't pay attention to. I notice that sometimes I don't see pigeons or ducks just because I see them so much. So let's see if we can notice all the animals around us today and consciously give thanks for their presence on the planet. All blessings to you. Namaste. Namaste. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti.